<coughs> all right guys what is going on welcome back to another video thank you all so much as always for tuning in so before we get into the video i guess you guys can see what's on my head we have the fear of god times Zenya hat that i recently picked out and i know in my last video i had kind of mentioned that you know i didn't think i was gonna be grabbing anything but genuinely i've loved the collection so much i was like i need to pick something up so i picked up this hat about two days ago and i'm just gonna quickly show you guys so um you can see it's got like that Zenya written on the adjustable um strap um and then we have just your simple uh, Zenya Fear of God written at the front. Love the silhouette, man. Super clean, super simple. Just something to throw on. And there you have it, guys. So in today's video, we have a current wish list selection. Now, honestly, let's just say that at the moment we are entering our second lockdown here in Canada so to be quite frank I mean I don't really know who's trying to shop right now we aren't really going anywhere with these clothes I am working from home so I can't even wear these garments to work so honestly some of these items I might end up grabbing them towards the end of the year hopefully we have a better 2021 you know and uh, yeah so sit tight grab a drink I have my water right here and uh, let's jump right into this full winter 2020 wish list selection so we're gonna start with shoes so I picked three current shoes that I want in my wardrobe starting off with these Marnie chilled simple red loafers I love Marnie I love the brand I do think that it is quite highly priced you know for such uh, simplistic items but I always find their silhouettes to just match my style and I absolutely love the brand and I love these loafers man there was actually a pair of Prada loafers that I was kind of eyeing last year they were also red I didn't end up getting them uh, but I did a fitting shoot with them I'll post some pictures here and they looked super neat they were sort of more like patterned leather these are kind of a bit more chilled but I love the chunkiness of these uh, you know as you guys know I've been really into like sort of like uh, platform shoes like my uh, Balenciagas for example and I have my Bottega boots and it would be so nice to add these red loafers into my collection one of the things that I like is obviously the color. I feel like it is bold to pull off uh, a red pair of loafers. The silhouette of them is absolutely insane. I have quite a bunch of trousers that I could see myself wearing these with, especially my black uh, uh, pleated uh, Prada trousers. I think they would look great with these loafers. So it'd be nice to kind of add, first of all, like a different sort of color because I have a lot of black shoes and uh, these would be perfect. So for the second pair of shoes, we have the Marcel Combat Boots. Now Marcel is an Italian luxury brand that I absolutely love. I love some of the items that they uh, uh, design, like sort of like their wallets, their, their uh, bags. Everything is made in Italy and it's like sort of like premium leather uh, luxury. So I really like the brand. I think that it's very sturdy, it's very durable and their shoes are always absolutely insane in my opinion. Um, and uh, I've actually owned a pair of derbies in the past and I've kind of been thinking about adding a new boot into my wardrobe now obviously this is not necessarily something that I need right now because I already have quite a good selection of boots I've made a full boots uh, a video my last video you guys can check it out I'll leave a card here but these boots would be absolutely great I love a lace up boot just simple clean black again with the chunkiness something that i've really been into lately just chunky like derbies chunky boots chunky loafers and these would be absolutely perfect of course uh the leather is great quality i've definitely worn a bunch of marcel in the past and i know that they're extremely durable one of the things that i noticed about the brand actually for you guys that if you ever want to sort of buy into the brand they do fit quite big so i definitely suggest you to size a full size down the leather already stretches quite a bit. I went a full size down and uh, for my derbies and I still had to uh, put an insole when I would wear my derbies. So yeah, but coming back to this boot, 
absolutely simplistic pair of boots something that i could kind of again see myself wearing on a day-to-day -day basis you know uh, especially during sort of like winter when it starts getting really cold it's a great pair of boots to throw on i just wish that they went up a little higher i think that that would be a bit more sick but nevertheless super clean super simple marcel boots that's my second uh choice in terms of my wish list we're gonna move into trousers So moving into the bottom half of the wish list, we have three or four pair of trousers. And to be honest, guys, like trousers isn't necessarily something that I'm sort of looking into sort of buying a lot of uh, towards the end of the year. I think I'm focused more on accessories and shoes just because like I have so many trousers and I feel like all of them kind of look slightly different. Uh, the only uh, pair of trousers that I didn't have in sort of my wardrobe was a corduroy pair of trousers and um, I actually I think I'm gonna pick these up either this week or the next week and it's this pair of Anderson Bell trousers super clean they're brown corduroy trousers they're absolutely insane man I love the button adjustment uh, I think these will look absolutely great with sort of like my boots my derbies they're corduroy something that I don't have in my wardrobe and yeah this is probably gonna be the only pair that I pick up this uh, this winter to be honest I don't need anything else in terms of trousers i have so many already and i get a lot of wear out of all of them and i would rather just keep doing that until like next year uh, and yeah all right so for the second pair of trousers we have these le mer uh trousers and absolutely love le mer man i think that that's one of my favorite brands that's one of the first brands that i started wearing when i sort of got into high end fashion and to this day, I still find their garments pretty useful for my wardrobe. They're sort of versatile. I can use them for any sort of like particular event. And uh, yeah, so these second trousers, again, something that's not black just because I already, like I said, I already have quite a bunch of like black, black trousers. Um, so I'm kind of trying to move away from that. I was actually thinking of getting the full fit because it has this beautiful brown shirt as well that you can kind of match with the trousers. And I think that this will be a beautiful look for sort of this season actually. Also dark brown, great color for your wardrobe. You can kind of still wear it with some of like your black sweaters or cardigan. That's it for my second pair of trousers. And we're gonna jump into the third and final pair of uh, trousers. So for the final pair of trousers, we have these Art Comes First leather pair of trousers. Now, honestly guys, I didn't want to put these out there because I, I was like skeptical. I was like, what if I put them out there and then like someone cops them? Uh, but then my size is sold out. So I was like, whatever. Uh, but Art Comes First is a brand ran by Sam and Shaka. Now for me, I love these two guys, man. These are the guys that inspired me to start dressing up. I've been following them for quite a long time and absolutely love some of the clothing that they have on their website now. So uh, the, the items are extremely pricey. You know, um, so that's why I kind of haven't bought anything, but I absolutely love this pair of trousers, like just super clean, like leather pair of trousers that you can kind of wear with your boots. Like these paired with my Calvin Klein boots, the outfit would just look insane, man. So um, unfortunately my size 32 is sold out and actually by the looks of what the model is wearing, I feel like these would fit extremely tight. So I was like, you know what? I'll probably even need to go a size up like a 33 or 34. Absolutely love the brand. If you guys aren't familiar with Outcomes First, definitely check them out, Sam and Chaka. I think their Instagram is Outcomes First, but absolutely inspirational style. Accessorizing is to a whole nother level with them. Um, they absolutely have great taste in everything that they do. So hopefully I'll pick some of their garments up soon, you know, maybe by the end of the year. But yeah, these pants are definitely on my top list. If I can get a hand on a size 33, 34, I'll absolutely pick them up. And we're gonna move into the top half of my wish list and finish off with accessories. So for the top half of my wish list, we're gonna start off with a blazer from Hyder Aquaman, this contrast black and white blazer. Now, this is probably something that I would see myself wearing more towards like special events and things like that, something that I would wish to have in my wardrobe just for those like special uh days whether it's like you know celebrating christmas or new year's um or just a, a birthday and this blazer is absolutely insane guys uh it's 100 percent wool it's from hyder ackerman contrast panel blazer just 
The silhouette is so clean, so nice. Just things that I love about Haider Ackerman, just the silhouette of his clothes and sort of like the drape and just the cuts of his, of his clothes are always absolutely unbelievable. This is definitely one of the brands that I don't own in my wardrobe uh, at the moment, just because the price point is always just absolutely insane and you always have to wait for it to go and sell. And even at 50% off, it's still quite expensive. So a lot of the times I would just rather buy something similar, you know, um, but Hyder is one of my favorite designers and I absolutely love to own something from him uh, at some point in the future. All right, moving on to my second outerwear piece, we have this vegan leather jacket from Anderson Bell. Now Anderson Bell is a brand that I'm not necessarily familiar with, but I generally love Scandinavian brands. I always feel like they do a good job of curating and designing things that I could personally see in my wardrobe, things that are wearable. And I absolutely love this leather uh, jacket, this vegan leather jacket, super clean, super simple. And honestly, for a vegan leather jacket, pretty fairly priced. You know, it goes for about 500 US dollars, which I feel isn't too bad for a leather jacket. Um, this is something that I, again, don't own in my wardrobe. I've actually been trying to replace this long uh, leather, this leather, um, jacket that I've had for quite a while and I've been trying to replace it and I think this would be such a great replacement something that I could see myself wearing consistently especially one of those colder when it starts kind of getting colder it's definitely on my top wish list just something super nice super clean leather can't go wrong with that and uh, yeah so we'll see how it goes it's a hundred percent polyester and uh, it's made in South Korea. And we're gonna move into my final selection of wish list, which is my accessories. Accessories are something that I've been looking forward to adding into my wardrobe, just because for the most part, to be honest, I feel like I do already kind of have most of these pieces in my wishes to some extent. Um, and accessories is something that I'm kind of lacking that I would love to add onto my wardrobe. So with the first accessory, we have this simple uh, neck band from JW Anderson. Now I know that these have been out there for quite a while, but I never picked up one. Uh, I did get the uh, sweater, um, but I didn't like it. It fit kind of too snug and too tight. So uh, I figured, you know what, the neck band would actually be a bit more useful, like especially when I'm wearing my, uh, my hoodies, my sweatshirts, just to throw it on with a cap like this or like a, a beanie. I just have these different ideas in my head of the way that I would style it and I think it would look great. Uh, second accessory, we have the Salix leather bandana. Honestly, I probably wouldn't buy this, but I think it would look so sick with some of my pieces and some of the ways that I'm thinking of kind of styling it. I, I think it would look absolutely insane. Now, I wouldn't, I don't necessarily need to spend that much money on this particular one. Uh, I think what I would do is probably get one of these ones from Zara. Zara has a couple ones and they actually have more color selection and I could grab like two colors and play around with that in my wardrobe just to kind of elevate my style. Like I love adding little things like this into my wardrobe because I know that eventually when I kind of feel like being a bit more creative with my style, I can kind of use them and uh, make an outfit sort of come together. This is why I have hats like the engineered garment hat. Um, so yeah, so I think this would be cool. I'll probably pick up the Zara one just to kind of try it out and see what I can do with it in my wardrobe. Uh, so those are the first two accessories. Third accessory, man, this piece is from the Art Comes First designers, Sam and Shaka. Um, and it's this Mad, I think it's called the Mad Hunter uh, hat. and. Again, guys, I have this one that I've had for quite some time. This is an Obey hat that I've had for honestly like five, six years, even more. I think I got it in 2012 or 13. Uh, and I've been looking to add onto my hat collection so much. And I cannot tell you guys how much I want these hats. They have a variation of them. They have like these jazz looking ones. Uh, and they have these round ones like this one in my wish list. And honestly, I'm probably gonna end up getting one next year for the spring and summer uh but uh these would be absolutely insane i love these guys like i say man if you guys haven't checked them out definitely suggest for you guys to check them out 
But uh, yeah, this would be a great hat to add onto my hat collection. I think it looks absolutely clean, especially if you accessorize it well and if you style it well. So more accessories, we have this Out Comes First rings. Now I've been looking into changing some of my rings just because like I have this Gucci one that's quite big and I always find that it stands out way more than uh, my other ones. So I've been looking into adding like bigger sort of uh, chunkier uh, rings uh, onto my collection. And these Arkham's first ones would be absolutely perfect. They made in Senegal. And actually one of my buyers here in Montreal is from Senegal and always has the sickest rings. So I definitely know that these will be not only like uh, uh, good quality, but they will also last me quite a while. And again, accessories are something that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis whenever I'm going out. So uh, I know that I would get a lot of sort of wear out of these ones. So we'll see. Now, before I conclude the video, guys, I just want to mention something that uh, I know that there are there is quite a young demographic that may watch these videos and find themselves sort of wanting to um, buy these sort of expensive uh, clothes. Honestly, like I've always said in my videos, style isn't about how much money you spend on clothes. Style is about authenticity and it's about wearing what works for you. And you can find that through sort of buying you know from Unico, from zara from h&m especially if you're starting up so highly suggest that anyone that's sort of kind of watching this and is still young definitely invest into like pieces that aren't necessarily expensive and develop your style first before kind of like indulging into high-end fashion i think like i've mentioned in the past in my videos for me high-end came because i just wasn't finding the things or the silhouettes and the cuts that i really wanted and high-end was providing that so yeah so as you guys know this is my job this is what i do i work for essence as a personal stylist so uh yeah just wanted to be honest and break that transparency to you guys make sure you subscribe down below guys and leave a like and follow me on my instagram at g-r-e-g-n-t-o-r-e -E. i'll see you guys in the next one again thank you for the continued support take care peace out